Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are digging. <laughs> we are digging in our best dirt, actually. I am pulling some really good uh, cleanouts out of this dirt, you guys. Um, last cleanout we did was like 83 ounces, the most I've ever gotten uh, uh, off of old Arnold uh, with our tier four setup here. So. Uh, we're just about ready to do our next clean out. So I thought I'd bring you back at this point. Um, it's, uh, you know, the episodes are have come, been coming a little slower just because, well, for two reasons. One, um, most of what I'm doing in the game right now is just digging and, you know, running dirt. So there's not a whole lot else, you know, to show you at this point other than that. Um, because, you know, we're just trying to build up our gold money. I'm trying to get as much gold out of this place as I can before winter. And you can see if you look in the upper right hand corner that it's two days until winter. And if everything goes the way I kind of would like it to go, um, I'd like to have at least enough money to buy um, the second to the highest. Uh, let's be careful here. I don't want to waste any of this dirt because this is like our best dirt. Uh, second to the highest plot before winter now we don't necessarily have to do that and i'm not saying that's exactly how it's going to go either but you know that's kind of what i'm shooting for we'll, we'll just see how it goes uh, but we need over two million to buy that and whether or not we're going to be able to pull two million off of this plot i don't know i'm not sure i i'm pretty darn sure we're going to be able to pull enough off to to buy oh man Whatever that other one is. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but it's the second to the highest one. Um, here, let's get this truck backed up to the hopper and we can actually go look at it. And let's check the gold prices too whilst we're at it here. Old Glen Bank parcels. So Nighthawk, yeah, Nighthawk is 2.4 mil, but... Uh, I also have been thinking about Pine Valley, which is 1.8 mil. I'm thinking we'll probably be able to pull, you know, uh, pull 1.8 mil off of Old Arnold to buy this. Whether or not we can pull uh, 2.4 mil to buy Nighthawk, I'm not really sure. Uh, one of you guys mentioned to me in the comments, you recommended, oh, we didn't check the gold price. You recommended that we hold out and just buy Nighthawk. And I, I agree with that if we can actually pull that much money off of here. Okay, so the gold price is at twelve sixteen. It's dropped um, a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not really necessarily in a hurry at this point to to sell. We do have, as you can see in the upper right hand corner, five hundred eighty six ounces so far. Uh, so let's see. We have uh, we're ninety three percent of the way uh, to the next clean out, and um, everything is currently empty at the moment. So let's drop this off and run this into the rocker, but not through the whole plant. What I've been doing is. Uh, filling up the rocker. I think I told you guys this in the last episode, but in case I didn't or whatever, um, I fill up the rocker and then wait and fill up the hopper and then have another dump truck load before I actually run everything through the plant. So that way I'm essentially getting three uh, dump truck loads through the plant each time. And then it takes me about two cycles of that uh, per clean out. Okay, so what we're going to do is come over here and we're only going to start up the conveyor belt in the conveyor belt hopper and get that filled and then we'll bring two more dump truck loads up here so yeah i thought i'd bring you back at this point just kind of with an update um there's not a whole lot more to show you at this point other than you know a, a little more digging and how far we've gotten into the plot but i just have a whole bunch of dirt that i need to move before anything significant happens you know between now and winter now of course when winter hits my understanding is we have a couple more days like three more days maybe or something before we have to really be wrapped up for the winter <clears throat> so i might keep digging on day one of winter we'll see how we'll just see how far along we get you know by that point and then you know maybe starting with day two we'll start thinking about wrapping up for the winter and then I'm not planning on mining over the winter. I know you can do that, but uh, I'm not going to do that for season one. And then, you know, then we just basically spend the rest of the winter in the hotel before we start season two. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of where we're at here. And um, 
it's it's uh, let's see what time is this? 5:37 in the morning, so it's still still pretty dark out. As you can see, I'm using the lights of the dump truck um, because my you know my mobile light platform. I don't really have room at this point to move it in there. I suppose I could haul it up to the top and point it down into the uh, into the pit there. That might not be a bad idea. Maybe we should do that. Uh, but I've also just been using the lights of the dump truck, you know, to light things up here too. But we should be, uh, we should be, you know, it's getting lighter as time goes on. When 6 a.m. rolls around, we should be able to see a little bit better. But yeah, it might be it might be a good time for me to move that light too. Okay, so let's take another scoop here. Uh, when we get about to where the excavator is, I'll probably jump in the excavator because we're going to be in higher ground at that point, and you know start kind of cutting off the top and get it down a little bit before we get back into the loader. I, I still have a knot figured out. Um, whether or not it matters if you, you know, so if, if you have gold, more gold in the upper layers, if you want to, if you need to dig those layers, or if you dig from the base down at the ground, if you still get that gold or not, I, I haven't been able to figure that out. I've been thinking about it and maybe it doesn't matter enough. And I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but what I'm, let me see if I can explain this, if it doesn't make sense. So you've got. Um, you know, this much dirt, let's say, in one of these squares. Let's say the highest concentration of gold is at the top as, as opposed to the bottom. It's usually more at the bottom, but not necessarily in every case. If I dig it all the way down at the base, am I getting that gold, you know, higher up or am I losing out on that? I, I don't know the answer to that. I haven't been able to figure that out either on my own or by watching other people, um, you know, uh, play the game. So I'm not really sure how that works. And unless and until I can figure that out, I'm going to assume that I need to dig in the upper layers first before I dig down below it, uh, just on the off chance that maybe we might lose that otherwise. I don't, even, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. That sounds really confusing. I don't even know if that made sense to you guys, but hopefully it did. Uh, those of you, anyways, that are more familiar with this game, I, I hope you understand what I mean. And if you do and you know the answer to that, definitely let me know if you would, please. I mean, because I would rather dig with the front loader than the backhoe. Now, I don't have anything against the backhoe, and I'm getting pretty good on it, too. I mean, I can fill the dump truck up pretty quick with it, so it's not really that so much. But, you know, I, I think the front loader is really just a, a, a better tool in general for filling the dump truck up. Now, one thing about this particular scenario that I'm in, because I don't have a whole lot of room in here yet, and I'm kind of digging around the whole this whole radius that I'm starting to open up. I am traveling a lot, you know, back backing up to get to the dump truck. And I do understand at this point that I probably could fill this up more quickly with the backhoe because of the tight situation. And maybe what we ought to do is actually test that, you know, just see how long does it take me, you know, with this particular setup, how long does it take me to fill the dump truck up with the front loader versus using the backhoe? <laughs> That might be something kind of fun to do. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that after we do our next cleanout. And we'll just try it and see, you know, which one's faster. But I think, you know, in the right conditions, meaning that the dump truck is right next to the front loader and positioned correctly, I'm pretty sure I could I can fill this up more quickly with the front loader than I can with the backhoe. And, you know, that's based upon my skills. I'm not saying that anybody else could do it better one way or the other. You know, it's just where I'm currently at with my skills. But I am feeling pretty good. And, you know, about how how I've um, progressed in the game in terms of, you know, being able to operate the machinery. Now, I do have a wheel, and I even have a stick that I bought for a farming simulator. And I hook all that stuff up and, and tried it a little bit. I don't even know if I might have even told you that, guys, that in a, a, a past episode. I can't remember. But it's just, I don't know. I, I'm, I love the wheel and the stick for farming simulator. It's just totally changes the game, makes it so much better. But for this game, I, I'm actually more efficient, I feel, with the mouse and the keyboard, um, even over a controller. And that's partly because I'm more of a keyboard and mouse person than a controller person anyways, but it's also, you know, 
the game doesn't natively support the, the controller stick that I have. So I have to kind of use a, a third party program to map keys to it. And it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel real smooth to me. But honestly, I think the majority of, of that is just because I'm just so much more used to the mouse and keyboard. And I kind of, you know, over time trained myself to be efficient with it in this game, including, you know, remapping some of the keys uh, to my mouse, thumb buttons and that sort of thing, as opposed to trying to use the keyboard for, you know, raising and lowering the boom on the backhoe and stuff like that. Okay, so anyway, let's get over here. So we're going to drive this up here, but I'm not going to dump it off quite yet. We're going to turn off the conveyor belt and hopper first. Now, in doing this little, you know, this little... Um, procedure that I'm doing here I'm I've really reduced like may, majorly reduce downtime for repairs so I, in other words I try not to run the plant all the time I only run it when I'm ready to actually run the dirt into it it takes me a little bit more time and it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt to have to get out and shut it off and get out and sh turn it back on and all that but I think you know it's saving me with downtime and costs of having to replace, uh, you know, broken equipment. Oh, you know what? That reminds me too. We're re we're ready to actually upgrade one of our our workers, our hog pan guy. So let's do that too. Let's get that done. But we're also, like I said, we're going to time ourselves and see. Can I fill up the dump truck faster with the front loader? <laughs> Uh, with this current setup, meaning that, you know, I have all the, the travel time on the front loader, or can I do it faster with the backhoe? Um, so, all right, let's turn this off for the moment. And let's hop over to you. And you know what? If we're going to do the little time thing, we, we already have a little dirt in here. Uh, let's just run this straight up to the D-Rocker. Uh, because, you know, we have to make sure we're starting with no initial dirt if we're going to do a, a fair comparison here. So we'll bring this up the hill. Uh, the D-Rocker has 99% dirt in it, but I've got a pretty small bucket load here, so hopefully we can... It'll take it all without wasting any. It'll be really close, but... Yeah, it looks like we might have lost a little bit, but, you know, whatever. It wasn't enough to to make or break us for sure. Okay, so we'll bring the front loader back down here. And what we'll do when we start, when we start the timer, we'll start it with the front loader just kind of in this position here, I guess. All right, let's turn that off for the moment and take a look at what we need to do to upgrade our worker. So if we go into workers here, um, it is this guy here. So Leonard Sipe is now ready for us to upgrade to level two. So right now, uh, basically this dude swaps out two of my hog pen mats. And if we upgrade him, he'll now be able to do four. All right, so let's go to upgrade. It's going to cost us 2500 bucks. And now Leonard Sipe is a level two dude. And yeah, he'll be able to do four hog pen mats. Awesome. Okay. Very good. I've mentioned this several times before, but, you know, my, my worker acquisition is very, very slow on this playthrough because of the fact that I am playing in real time you know uh i'm playing in real time so i'm not getting the um the workers coming in that i would if i was increasing the time but that's okay I, i'm all right with that all right so what that means now is that we can take uh two more of these i guess i forgot oh why isn't it should be letting me put two more of those in there but it's not why is that Uh, 
Okay, that's odd. Here, let's turn our water off. I normally turn that off too, and I just, I guess I forgot to. When we have this off, you know, then this pump over here, which is running even though the sound is all messed up on it, is slowly filling this, you know, this water tank up. So we're up to, um, uh, 21, 50, or 215,000 and change right now. And it holds a million gallons, which I have, I find very hard to believe. <laughs> There's no way that thing could hold a million gallons, but maybe it's bigger than it looks from down here. I don't know. <coughs> okay. Anyway, so let's see, we got a full D rocker. We have a full conveyor. So we just need to bring one more dump truck load up here. So let's head on back down to our stuff here. All right, so the bucket is empty. And what I'm going to do is get my phone uh, stopwatch out on my phone. And we're, gonna, we're just going to see how long it's going to take me to fill up the dump truck with the front loader in this particular position uh, that we're in. Because I can't really, I mean, I could put the, eh, there's not really a whole lot of room for me to put the dump truck in there yet. There will be later, but there's, you know, I, I'm I'm pulling dirt from from all of those walls in there that are marked A and B. There's not a lot of room for me to maneuver to, to get in position, you know, to to offload the dump truck. So we're just going to keep it here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. This is not um, intended to be perfectly scientific and, you know, 100% mathematically correct. It's just to kind of give us an idea of how much faster we can do this with the front loader versus the back. Okay, so here we go. I hit the start button. Let's go ahead and get this done. Get this sucker loaded and see how long it takes us. Okay, so that took me four minutes and 17 seconds to completely fill up the dump truck with the front loader with all that travel time. Okay, so four minutes, 17 seconds. Let me um, write that down here. And one other thing I want to clarify too, I wasn't trying to do this as fast as I possibly could. I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of do it, doing it the normal way that I would do it as I'm, you know, moving dirt. So, yeah, the point here is, you know, if I'm just working normally, can I do this faster with the front loader or faster with the backhoe under these particular conditions? Okay, so I've got that written down. Let's go ahead and get this next batch of dirt moved, and we're going to do a clean-out. And then when this clean-out's finished, you know, then we'll do the same little kind of test with the backhoe. Uh, and the dump truck, you know, parked right below it. And we'll see how that goes. So we have a full hopper and a full D rocker. And where are we at? We're at 93%, right? Okay. Let's start the water. And then start up the machinery, and we'll just wait for this to turn to 100%. Okay, we're at 100%. Turn you off. Turn the lights and the wash machines back on. And we have to swap out our water connections.
Okay, so we are currently sitting at 586 ounces. 586.9 ounces to be precise. Uh, let's just call it 587 ounces. We'll just round it up. Okay, so that's where we're currently sitting. Now, let's see um, how we can do. Like I said, 83 ounces is the most I've done so far with this really good dirt. So let's see if we can top that in this clean out here. That would be, that would be amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. This is with a full tier four setup. So, you know, we're going to do, eventually we'll, we'll have a full tier five and then, and then we'll have a Frankenstein or more eventually. And once that stuff's all in place and, you know, we're into good dirt, you know, then we'll pretty much be at the top of our game. But we still, we still have a bit, a bit of a ways to go before we, we get to the end of the end game. And looking forward to it. I've really enjoyed this game thoroughly. You know, I've thought about the possibility, you know, down the road of maybe doing leaderboard. But, you know, the problem for leaderboard with me in real life is I just don't think I would have enough time to commit to it to to get on the board, you know. We're talking hours. Uh, no, not hours. Days. Real-time days. Non-stop. You know, pretty much. To, to probably even come close to competing with the guys that do that all the time. And I, I don't know if I'd be able to do that. It'd be kind of fun to try it, but again, you know, I just don't think I'd have time for it. Okay, so our magnetite, by the way, is up to 56%. Plus, I already have a full bucket in the back of the pickup truck. At least I think I do. I can't remember now. <laughs> I hope I do. Okay, so let's see how much we get from the upper sluice box there. And while that's going on, let's start working on the planters. Get this started again. Okay, so we got 20.15 ounces from the upper sluice box, which is pretty good. I don't know if that's the best I've ever gotten out of it, but it's not bad. Okay, now let's try, let's run the planter, uh, planters through. Okay, while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and start loading up the uh, miners miners mosses here. Oh, okay, that just kicked in. Now I now I see that it will let me put four on there. Maybe we had to do the next clean out to kind of update it, I guess. Perhaps not sure, but we now should be able to put. Oh wow, we can put six in in total. Really? So that upgrade was four more, not four in total. Very nice. Okay, we got 26 ounces of gold out of the planters. I think the last one I got 29 ounces. So I, I'm not. So I don't think this clean out is going to get us 83 ounces, but it might get us around 80 or close to it. Oh, this is great, man! Look at this. Okay, so, um, yeah, I misread that. I thought. It meant he can do a total total of four, but it means he can do four more in addition to the original tool two that he could do. This is great. I love it. Okay. So I suppose when he gets to level three, he can, he does these other two plus you know whatever other perks comes with that. I don't remember off the top of my head. Okay, great. Um, so you know right now we have seventeen percent. Uh, concentrate in here and that's just over time from the two extra mats that the guy could change so that so now that little ratio there is going to triple 
um, you know, because we've add, added three times more mats. Or, well, we had two, and now we have six. Three times more? Yeah. Two times more. I don't know. <laughs> we had two, we now have six. That's what I tried to say. Okay, so let's put this in here. Uh, we will also come up here and grab our first two big uh, mosses. And put those in and run those together. I thought about maybe getting another nuggetator for the other side, but I don't know. I, pr I probably won't do that until maybe until we're, we're in the full tier five or at least, you know, uh, at our next site. That's not hugely important because I'm not doing leaderboard, so I'm not in a, a ginormous hurry here. I mean, I want to be efficient, right? But on the other hand, you know, this isn't a race like it would be if we were doing leaderboard, so... This whole game is just about the joy of gold mining, and uh, I don't want to make it stressful if I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Leaderboard would be stressful just because of the very nature of it, you know, having to compete. And again, I'm not saying I'll never do a leaderboard, but I just don't see myself having enough time at this point in my life to, to be able to do it. Okay, so let's see. We're waiting for... Uh, the first batch of the Nuggetator to finish. And then, um, here, we, while we're waiting for that, we might as well uh, get these guys ready to go. I know it said it's finished, but it's alright. We'll just let it run for a second while we load up this batch of, these batches of moss. This batch of mosses. Mosses. No, moss. Moss is singular and plural. Let's use proper grammar here if we can. And if we can't, well, we'll pretend like we can. Okay. I'm just going to set those down there. Yeah, and, and the other thing about leaderboard, too, is, you know, you'd really want to set yourself up so that you can do this as quickly as possible. So one example of that would be to have a second negotiator on the other side. Uh, but, you know, this works out pretty good for me. It's not too much extra running around. Another thing I guess I could do is put the Nuggetator in the middle here in between both. But then it's not near, um, you know, near the Magnetite separator. Not that it necessarily needs to be, I guess. Okay, so this gives us two additional mosses left over because we added those other ones. So we'll just store those in there for now. The big mosses can go back up here. I've seen uh, some of the leaderboard uh, YouTubers put the Nuggetator right up here on the ladder. So, I mean, it's just immediately next to that. Um, definitely get that, but in, in the real world... I think this thing has to be level, doesn't it? Or maybe it, maybe it doesn't. Maybe the Nuggetator doesn't have to be level. I, I know the wavetable has to be level. Or set, specifically. Um, but maybe the Nuggetator doesn't. I don't know. Not really sure. Come on. Get in there. There you go. But yeah, this is great that we were finally uh, able to do our first worker upgrade. Very nice. Okay, let's... Um Get this one back together, and then we'll add the next batch. Uh, what happened to the other grill? Oh, there it is. Sometimes it, it gets, like, kind of hidden back inside there. Clean ones here. All right. 
now. Okay, that fills up that bucket. This is the one that gives us the most gold and magnetite. So right now we have 63% magnetite. Let's see what we end up with by the time that's done processing. All right, got us up to 73%. Very nice. Turn you on, turn you off. Put these guys back over on the other side and get them set back up. So you're at 23% left. Okay, so let's bring these over here. And we got 37 12 ounces out of that. Okay, let's get these put back in place and then we'll do the math and see how much we got. Cut it out. Every once in a while I forget to fully set this second one back up and then I start the plant and then I'm getting messages saying, hey, you're losing gold. It's like, so I want to make sure I get it completely back together so it's good to go. All right, and it is completely back together. Let's turn that off. All right, so we are now at 670 ounces. We started with 587, so that means we made 80, we made 83, right? Because 17 minus 100 is 83. I don't trust my math. <laughs> uh, let me let me use my calculator. Five eighty-seven. Okay, so six seventy minus five eighty-seven. Yep, eighty-three ounces. We pulled eighty-three ounces out of here. That was as good as last time. I didn't think it was going to be as good because uh, the planters didn't have as much gold in them as they did the last time. But we must have made up for it somewhere else. So that's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, guys, so we're up at the 670 ounces. That's amazing. So, I mean, very, 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 very roughly, we need 1,000 ounces to make uh, a million bucks. And actually, that's not quite – it depends upon the prices, and it's actually a little less than that if we're, you know, if we're selling for uh, 12-something uh, an ounce. But that's kind of basically what I go off. So if I have 100 ounces, I know I'm going to get at least $100,000. And that's, it, it is a little bit more than that. What is the price right now again? Uh, so twelve seventeen. So right now, if we um, sold, which we're not going to do, but if we did, twelve seventeen times 670, okay, that's $815,000. But, of course, that doesn't account for the blacksmith fees and we're, you know, we still have a little bit of gold loss too. So anyway, um, I mean, we're already almost to a million. We're getting close, which is really exciting because we haven't made that much money in a single sale yet in this game. And you know, we're, we need, we know we want at least one point, uh, was it 1.8 to get, uh, the second to the largest parcel and we need 2.4 to get the largest we might pull that off actually we might actually pull that off we'll just see how things go all right well anyway let's go back up here and we're going to change our water connections back okay so everything's flowing down there that looks good and let's move the rest of this dirt through the plant. We got a, quite a bit more, actually. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get the rest of this dirt moved through the plant, and then I'm going to set up for our second test with the backhoe and see if we, you know, how long it takes us to fill the dump truck up with the backhoe um, here uh, in just a bit. So, I'll see you in a, in a few minutes.
All right, guys, we are finished uh, moving this dirt. So let's shut that stuff off, shut the water off. And we have 50% uh, halfway there uh, with that load. Uh, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump in the pickup truck and we're going to move our, our light uh, to a new position so we can see better because it's still just a little bit dark out for this. If I wasn't trying to make a video, I wouldn't worry about it. I, I can see well enough, but uh, I want you guys to be able to see what's going on here with this next little bit that we're going to do. Um, so, whoops. Let's get you positioned a little bit better there. Um, why is that not? Oh, it's probably because I've got the those things down. There we go. Okay, so let's bring this up top here. I think what we're going to do is try and put it uh, up on that side to the right. I hope my pickup can make it up the ramp. The ramp is... It works okay for the big machinery, but yeah, I guess we're all good. <laughs> oh, man, I thought we were going to tip that thing over for a second there. Okay, we got this. Oh, lordy. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's go around this way. No, don't tip over. This light's going, what are you doing to me? All right, we want to take it over here. Oh. What in the world? It said I've had enough. I've never seen that happen before. Weird. What? Cut it out. Okay, let's bring it over, I want to bring it way over here and then cut hard to the right. Did I get it to go right about here? Uh, yeah, let's try this. All right, now we want to move this uh, to the left. A little bit more. That's actually not bad. Uh, what if we bring it down a little bit? There we go. Yeah, that should be plenty of light to see. Okay. Let's go ahead and take our pickup back. And then we'll come in here and hop in the excavator and then time ourselves using the excavator and see how we do. Okay, so let's start you up. And it looks like I have a bucket load of dirt already. Um, so that would kind of skew things a little bit, wouldn't it, I suppose? Well, all right. I'm just going to... I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm just going to dump this because we can't have that head start if we're going to get accurate readings here. Oh, actually, okay, it put it back down there, so we'll be able to grab it again. So at least we didn't lose it. All right, so let's get into position here. Probably right about here. Man, I hope, that's <laughs> I hope that stays put. Goodness gracious. Okay, I'm not warmed up on the excavator today, so let me just... 
make sure we're good to go on all of this. And we're going to start maybe over on this side, down a little more. Okay. I'm going to do a quick save, too, just in case I screw up my ramp. All right, guys. So here we go. I'm going to start the timer again, and let's see how quickly we can fill up our dump truck with this. And this is a hundred. Okay, stop. All right, so with my really bad, terrible, sloppy being in a hurry, I still got that thing filled up in three minutes and 28 seconds, which is almost a minute faster than the front loader. But remember, you know, I had a lot of travel time with the front loader too, whereas here everything is just in position here. So if, uh, you know, if the front loader was or rather i should say if the dump truck was right next to the front loader i could probably fill it up about that fast too but it does illustrate that you can really fill this thing up quickly with the backhoe if everything's in position um so let's back it up a little bit before it goes over the <laughs> the edge here but i think i'm going to use the backhoe for a little bit just because of the fact that we are pretty high up here and i want to at least carve the upper layers uh off with the backhoe um Okay, hold on a sec. Let's get driving mode. There we go. Okay. Stop. Excavator. Oh, I'm hit. I'm in the wrong doggone button. That's why. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, now go back to driving mode and get this back to about here. There we go. All right. Cool. So that was interesting. Um, even as terribly as I did that, you know, um, we still did it almost a minute faster uh, than the, than the, uh, the front loader. I, I want to re-emphasize something, though. This is for this specific situation with this specific layout where my dirt currently is. I'm not saying that the backhoe is faster than the front loader uh, or, or vice versa. It has to do with how fast I can operate it, and it has to do with positioning. So, again, if the dump truck was right next to the front loader, um, I bet you I could fill that dump truck up at least as fast as I was able to just do it with the backhoe. Uh, but anyway, it, it's kind of interesting, kind of fun, you know, to see what the timings are on that. So, all right, you guys. Well, I think we are out of time for this episode, so I'm going to drain my battery. No, I'm not going to drain my battery. Let's turn the lights off. I'm going to just keep digging here and... You know, we still have a lot of good dirt back here, but we are in some of our best dirt in these positions. And, you know, like I showed you, we're pulling over 80 ounces per clean out out, which is the best I've ever done so far here on Old Arnold, you know, with our tier four setup. So I'm just going to keep digging. And, you know, at some point I'll bring you guys back with an update on where we are. Our, our, we have a big goal and we have an, uh, a little goal. The big goal is to see if we can pull enough gold off of here by the time winter hits to buy Nighthawk. If we can't, then we have to decide, do we want to instead buy the, uh, what's it called? The Twin Pines or whatever the second one is, or do we want to hold out, you know, sleep out the winter and then finish out old Arnold in the spring and then buy Nighthawk, you know, later on in season two. I haven't made that decision yet, uh, but, you know, We'll make it when the time comes. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the very next episode. Bye-bye.